Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, Q&A, this uh, webinar about the I Work and Sport virtual job fair that happens tomorrow. Uh, so I've been doing for four weeks straight. We did uh, interviews with experts in the, in the industry talking about recruitment. But since the event is tomorrow, we decided to answer some questions. We, of course, have replied to, to many of your questions already via emails and uh, or otherwise. But we're going to take this time today to try to, you know, make everything clear for everyone that is registered to to participate in the events tomorrow. Uh, let me first introduce myself. I don't know um, if uh, this is the first time that um, you're here. I'm João Frigerio, the founder of I Work in Sport, and I'd like to welcome again uh, you to to the event and thanking you for thank you for for being here and participating in this. Um, I also want to honestly wish that everybody is well. This is hard times for everyone. One of the reasons we're doing the I Work in Sport job fair tomorrow on the eighth of May. Is because of course this pandemic that we're going through. I hope that you guys are healthy and safe. Uh, if it wasn't for the pandemic, we would still do this event, but that was actually scheduled to, to happen in September. Because we couldn't do the event here in Lausanne, we decided just to bring it uh, forward a, a little bit in time. Um, of course, we work very closely with our academic partners. We follow many of the current students of the masters that we're planning and we're already hoping to see all these uh, meets the recruiters and interact and have those opportunities. But um, so we really worked very hard to put something super nice in place for all of you. Well, there's I think this is the highest audience that <laughs> we had so far. Uh, with, with our lives. There's over 90 people, I think, connecting via YouTube and Facebook. Here, uh, there's a, a few of them. Let me just say hi. Hi, Kevin from Manchester. Zarefis from Amsterdam. Hassan, good to see you here. Jaime as well. I know you're from you're in Lausanne. Someone from Marseille. I can see people from all over the place. We're just uh, uh, waiting, perhaps a little, a few minutes more to so we'll be able to answer all of your questions. So what we'll try to do before, let me give you some good news. Um, I told you. I think two weeks ago, we had about 400 subscribers in our YouTube channel. I said that if we, if we reached 500, I would draw a free ticket for the event tomorrow. We just passed 500 now. Yay. And uh, we're going to do that after, well, not after, at the end of the, the session. The way I'm going to do that is uh, basically I'm going to scroll all over. I can see you know, the comments here, I'm going to scroll uh, over them back and forth. I'm going to stop my finger in one of you and whoever gets that, um, the, 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 wherever I, I point will get the, the free ticket. Okay. Now, there is a few questions that uh, I want to answer already. Uh, we published a FAQ. Uh, in the website a few days ago. I have those questions here, so I'm going to go over that. Oh, sorry. And I forgot to <laughs> to remove a Prashad's uh, name here. Sorry, Prashad. Sorry, guys. I'm just uh, learning how to do this. Um, the first one is actually how does the platform work? So what I will try to do uh, here, and this is going to be a first time that um, I'm going to do it. I didn't do that in the first four uh, interview sessions, is to split my screen and show you uh, 
what the environment looks like and I'll walk you through it. And I hope that uh, works well. Okay, I hope that you can see uh, the screen there. I, yeah, and I'm gonna go through it. So what we're doing there is replicating the uh, Swiss Tech Convention Center where the event was supposed to happen. Those are the brands that uh, will be there. Um, you will be able to navigate, either go straight to their booths or there's of course a menu here or here as well, you'll be able to, to navigate. So when you enter, this is what you see, you go to the exhibit hall, um, you're going to see there are 20 stands here. This is how you're going to find them. As I said, you can, from that entry page, already choose any of them, right? Or simply, you know, go back and forth and you can go and visit uh, one on one. So let's take a look at the FIBA booth here. Uh, the way it operate that the way it operates is uh, just by entering uh, one's booth, you can already collect a lot of information about them. So all the companies spent, you know, a huge amount of time providing uh, contents that will inform what they are about. Um, there will be plenty of uh, videos there. You, they either open automatically or, or you just play them. Uh, once you like something, you click here in the in this briefcase that basically will show you your favorite um, content. So you can save that and watch later. So if you're just having a first uh, look at all stands, you, you can sort of mark those. And of course, the, the main part of the interaction really happens here, right? So uh, there's a chat box, of course, this is marked as a test. It won't be there tomorrow. We were just testing it. And here you can leave a comment. Hello. And then someone will come and, and answer, answer to you. So this is a public chat. Whenever you come in, in, in there, there will probably be loads of, of questions. You can interact with each other. So imagine that you're visiting a stand, a booth, and there's other people visiting at the same time, you will hear what that people is asking, you will hear what the person is replying to them, you can also interact with that uh, person that is just next to you. So that is the same thing. The other important thing here that you would like to find is the connect with our team. So here, for instance, are the people that are going to be at the FIBA stand tomorrow. When they are online, this is going to be green. I'll, I'll show you an example soon. If the person is not there, you will click, in, for instance, if they are out for lunch or uh, talking to someone else, you can send them a, a message. They will receive it and they will be able to get back to you later. Here shows um, who is in the, in the event. So now attending, there's the total number of people. And here, who is in this place? Okay. Um, let me see if Alexandre is online. It is green, so hopefully he is. I hope he hope I hope he's watching this too. Oops. Hi, Alex. And and this is the the private chat. So. There are many areas where, oh, he already replied here in the this public chat. So whatever someone writes here, anyone can read. Whatever, whenever you click on someone, you know, that's a green sign and he replies to you, that's, uh, that's a private conversation. So it's only to you. The other important part of the environment, let me just actually go back. you can uh, go also jump from booth to booth like this. 
you don't have necessarily to to get out or if you want to go and take a, a look and choose what are the booths you want to visit you just come here the other main area of the the site is the auditorium so here we're going to have a program we're just uh, setting up the times uh, there's going to be contents we're just preparing everything and and those will be uh, scheduled. So when you enter the environments tomorrow, many of those um, uh, presentations will have a countdown clock. And yeah, and that's where you will uh, be, be able to watch the, the, the presentations. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now. And what I'm going to do is, so I already covered how does the platform work. And I'll just go over a few other frequently asked questions. And then we're going to go to your questions, OK? So how do I log in to, to the fair? So all of those that have registered today, uh, have received an email where they are supposed to go there and um, re kind of register all their their information in this uh, in this environments that I just showed to you. the The recruiters will be able to search um, by those uh, whether the years of experience that you have or they will be able to look at your CV as well. And um, and you will also, everyone that is registered today or later tonight, will receive a, um, an email with the link to access the, the events tomorrow. All right. Now, there was a question about, will all companies post opportunities? In the end, all companies except a team marketing if i'm not wrong posted some posted actual uh, job opportunities that they're currently uh, uh, hiring uh, for others because of the the current situation kind of know the the profile of people they will be looking for but the position is not officially opened so what they did they invited people to express interest and they are uh, getting in touch with you. Uh, team hasn't posted that, but they will be live there, of course, tomorrow at the stand. And really uh, welcome you stopping by, and you certainly have a chat with uh, their team uh, there tomorrow. Just before I go to other questions, let me go through the comments. There's a lot of hi, everyone from Geneva. Uh, from Bologna, some questions coming in. Can you in? So Ali asks, can you interact with other participants? I think I, I covered that. Yes, you can. When you click, um, actually, I might just uh, keep sharing the screen there, and I can return to that when needed. As I said, you can check everyone that is attending. You find someone, uh, you click it in his name, and you have the information about him. And if this is green, you can send him a, a private message. If that is not green, if the person is offline, you can still click in the envelope and send that person a message. So. You won't be able to, well, you'll be able to speak with recruiters, but not only. Um, other question. Let's see. Yeah. Debbie asks if there's any chance to interact with recruiters through video. Yes, part of the, the interaction will be through video. However, the way it's going to work is that the recruiter will invite you to connect via video. Otherwise, they would be overwhelmed with people just uh, clicking and, and trying to, to call them to, to interact via video. So the way it works is 
as long as you engage in, in a conversation with the recruiter, either in a public conversation or perhaps you're going to go to a, a private uh, conversation there, they might invite you to connect uh, on a video call. Okay. We did offer one system uh, that uh, the recruiters could use, but they can uh, choose their own as well. Sometimes companies, because of privacy issues, of what their technology team recommends, will choose their own, whether it's Teams or, or, or Skype or Zoom, and they might send you the link and ask you to connect via that. Simon says, when will we receive the link to the events? Tonight. So if you're, if you're registered and you, and, you, and you received the link last night to, to register today or this morning to, to register, you will receive the link um, to, tonight. Let me just go to a few other questions that we had as a frequent asked questions. Will all companies post opportunities? Does attending... Ah. People ask me that a lot. Does attending the event guarantee I will be interviewed? No, it doesn't. And we don't guarantee that you will be interviewed or that you receive any job offer, any of that. And we were, since the beginning, always very uh, clear about it. What we're doing here is trying to create this opportunity for you to interact and connect with the, the recruiters. Uh, we'll see how that works online, okay? This is the first events of job fair that we're doing. We did a, a different one in December, worked really well for that purpose. Now we'll see how the interaction with uh, candidates and, and recruiters uh, work. We had, it's not, uh, the same experience that we had uh, in Lausanne, for instance, we we had more than one case, but uh, at least one that uh, is a great case study was of someone that um, applied for a job interview uh, at the at the job fair here in Lausanne, got a, a, re a negative reply, said sorry, your profile doesn't really match what we're looking for. However, that person you know, had the ability to meet the person or the recruiters uh, at the fair, had a quick chat, was able to explain that uh, although his previous job was completely off, had nothing to do with what they're looking for, his previous skills or experience actually were very transferable for what they were looking for and actually got a job there. And... Um, we'll see if that kind of thing will happen digitally as well. Uh, you know, it's not, you don't have the real eye to eye and the handshake and other things that are really important in that kind of networking environment. However, there are certainly advantages as well to do it uh, digitally. If we take Adidas for an example, for example, they, they came here in previous years and they sent either one or two people uh, only from the headquarters in Germany. Tomorrow they have 20 people registered from, you know, all over the world. So I know there's an international audience. There will be a lot of people that are not Europeans also assessing, maybe interested in opportunities elsewhere. So this is an advantage of doing the, the events online. And lastly, okay. Oh. Will uh, I work in sports tell me if I will be interviewed? I have no idea. We don't get um, in the middle of the, of the process. I don't know who applied for positions, who they contacted back, who they booked. We, as I said, we're providing the opportunity, the experience, the environments, but we're not involved in that uh, process. Okay. And lastly here, I haven't heard back from a company 
what happens if I'm not invited for an interview? I think this goes back to what I just said, that, that example that um, you might not have got uh, an invite for an interview. You will have the whole day there to check out, you know, the, I, I would recommend that you check out the information about the company. So you try to, they, as I said, they are, they prepared a lot of content for you, uh, PDFs, uh, brochures, uh, videos. I would take a look at it, try to digest, try to figure out what they're looking for. You get a, a bit more information and then you can uh, go and, and approach them, uh, approach them at their booth, maybe with uh, an argument that will convince them to, to have a, perhaps a video conversation with you there. Uh, we will have one of the booths that, uh, that we have is from Outdoria. Let me yeah, bring that up. Outdoria and Vanessa and the team will be wearing two hats. They, they here will be able to go and chat with them. They are recruiting uh, for their company. They are. They have mandates from clients that they will be also searching talents, you know, for. But one of their business is coaching. So one thing that you can do is uh, check out this environment here. If you're interested in perhaps having a chat or some training. Uh, you know, Vanessa will be, be happy or her team will be happy to get in touch with you and perhaps give some advice. Right. Now, let's go back to your questions. Nicolas, uh, can we still apply for any of job opportunities after the fair? Hello, Nicolas. Good to see you here. I hope that you're still, you know, playing. Well, you must be really missing playing football. Good player. The Great Escape FC misses you. Uh, yes, I, to be honest, you know, they are there. Uh, to be frank, a few companies just posted positions quite late. So I think that they will still be looking at your, uh, at your profile. So, you know, you can uh, still shoot uh, your CV to them. I suspect, however, that many of them won't be considering that anymore. Okay, but a few will. Uh, check out the emails that we sent lately, especially the ones that we sent this week. Uh, as I said, there were a few that were late in the process. They might be very interested in, in hearing from you. Luca, what if you receive invitations for two different interviews at the same time? Well, that is a nice problem. That is uh, prob probably a difficulty that uh, many would like to have. It is a tricky question because I think it really goes, uh, you know, I think it's very personal. It really, I, th I think if it was me, if I, if I got that, if I had the second, uh, the second person that sent me the, the request for the same time, I would basically reply and say, listen, could we do it some other time? Because, you know, I already have a commitment at that time. I mean, they will understand that you are at the job fair, that you will be interviewing with uh, other people. It's not like um, any company will demand that you're faithful and uh, there's no, uh, to them or exclusive to them. And I think that they should understand. I think that uh, that might even show that uh, you're being sought after. So should might even count points to you. Unless as well, uh, the, the company that came sort of second is like, wow, the place that you want to work or that is the position, the interview that you want to have, then you might want to rethink it and, and actually go to the, the person that's uh, invited you previously to, to see if they would change. I think it's very personal, but as a rule, I probably would go with the, with the first one.
Apart from the start and time, is there Hayalas? Uh, is there going to be lunch break, or are we are on our own schedule regarding that? So, Alas, you're going to be connecting from your house, right? Most of the time without camera. So uh, I won't tell you to be in your pajamas because I think it's... So actually change subjects and I'll get back to that. I think you should dress for the occasion. No suit and tie or, or anything like that. But, you know, I, I had my T-shirt just before shooting this or talking to you live. You know, I came, uh, I care about you. I put a shirt uh, to be presentable. And I think you should do the same uh, tomorrow, especially if you get the occasion to go on video. But it will be very flexible in terms of, of timing. Now, we will also send you and we will, be, we will post in the, in the environment tomorrow, in the site tomorrow, the schedule of the companies. So most of them will have people rotating and might even have not really take everyone take a lunch break at the same time. So you might see people there all the time. Some others already told us and sent, sent us a detailed program, you know, what they will be presenting in their stands. Uh, and we'll have a link to those individual uh, agendas uh, sent to you tonight as well in the next uh, few hours. So the answer is that uh, some companies will have a lunch break, others won't. But I think that will work quite flexible, will be quite flexible to you. Sorry, there's a lot of uh, questions coming in, so I may uh, lose a few, but... Um... Uh, Chris Clark, by the way, help, uh, thank you so much, Chris, for the help. Uh, João, could you tell us if many participants at the job fair have found jobs thanks to the events? Uh, we don't have... Um, <laughs> it, it sounds like a, a plugged in the question, Chris. The reality is in Lausanne, yes, we had many examples of people that, uh, I won't say got job thanks to, to the job fair. I think they get jobs thanks to their talents, but not only that, to the opportunity. Sometimes not a question of you being the right person. Sometimes it's being the right person for that right position at the right time. So there's a combination of, of factors. But yeah, there is uh, many, over dozens of, of people that uh, told us that the, the fair helped. Uh, some companies communicate to us, for instance, we got a message from UEFA uh, at the end of last year to this year, I think nearly 10 people that they interviewed at the fair last year got jobs, many of them to work uh, for the Euros, so now don't know how many are still there. And we do have a few testimonials as well on, on the website, so some people have been very, very kind to to contact me. Sometimes I get surprised. They send messages and and say, Joel, thank you for, for the help. I don't really know the person. And and sometimes they they say they would be happy to, to send a short testimonial. And thank you for that. Manuela Benezet, will it be possible to test video microphone before the event? So, Manuela, as I said, the, 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 the video call or, or the voice call that uh, you do won't be necessarily in our environment. So, the majority of the companies actually will be inviting people to connect through their company's system. So, I can't really, we can't really help you with that. Ana Rita, uh, will, there more, will there be more recruiters than you posted on, on a website? Now, everyone that we posted on our website will be uh, there with a stand. 
and welcoming people to to come and and, and visit them, them at their stand and let's say are officially scouting there i won't say recruiting because as i said not everyone has a, an available position at the moment but we'll be scouting for talent for for the future now there are other recruiters that uh, other companies that uh, couldn't make it in time showed interest or maybe a bit too late um, so won't have a stand there but asked for access because they want to take a look perhaps uh, join a, a future event so you actually might meet a few recruiters that will be there as regular delegates or let's say potential recruiters since they won't be recruiting there um, let me see Uh, Andri, um, the fair starts. Oh, so that was a reply. Thank you, Sean. So, for whoever asks when it uh, starts and finishes, yes, it goes from nine, sorry, from nine to five CET, that's uh, GMT plus two. Can we drop our CV to the companies? Sorry, I can't really pronounce your name. Uh, my bad. Can we drop our CV to the companies that we did not apply for nor invited for interviews? Oh, sorry, Christy Wen. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Um, yes. <clears throat> I mean, you can't drop your CV. So the way it works is... In fact, we ask you to, to give us permission to share uh, your information with the recruiters. And I think it's in your interest and I think it's in their interest as well. So what we'll do is if you visit someone's stand, we, we will send them that information. That uh, Christy, when stopped by your stand, she downloaded that uh, kind of content, even if you don't interact with them, okay? So we will inform you that you showed some interest. And the idea is to everyone that uploads their CV there, that we'll share your CVs to all of them, okay? And then, of course, they will receive that pile of CV. It's not an actual pile because it's digital. And they will be able who actually went to their booth and showed interest, and that might guide them how they will get back to you or not. Okay, they are independent. Each company have different interests and are looking for different things, and they might behave differently on how to follow up with you. But um, so if you go to their booth, they will know that you stopped by, and we will send all CVs to to the recruiters afterwards. Okay, so don't have to leave. There's no way that you will leave your CV there. Another thing that can happen is, as I showed you, when they open your profile, for instance, they can see your uh, CV there. So actually, let me share my screen again. Still here at the Outdoria booth. Let me go back a little. So now attending. For instance, if you take my profile here, you can um, you will be asked to, to write you know what sports masters you're doing your highest degree of education you know languages that you speak and when you do that they can come and and look for it here okay so if those fields are there and they might look for um people that studied sports of course or, or communications or marketing they can all they they will also be able to go and, and contact you so you might have some companies that instead of just being passive in their booths and waiting for you to visit they might actually reach out to you don't expect that that will happen much but that's can happen but sorry what i was going to show you here is that this indicates that i have a cv uploaded and when they check you out, they will click here 
in this case, it's not my CV, it's just a, a PDF that I that I posted there. But they can collect your, your CV, okay? Um, let me go back. Sorry if I'm a little lost here. There's a, a, a lot of messages. And as I said, I will scroll all these messages uh, later to, to see who's going to win uh, free tickets. If you are ready, I suppose that the majority of people here already have a ticket for, for the event. But if you, if you get that, you will, um, you will be able to, to give that to, to someone else. So just so send me an email, tell me who you want to give that uh, ticket, uh, for and we'll do that for you. By the way, while we're here, if I can ask you to, you know, like, by the way, challenge for you, we have a goal now. There's 160 people in the room, 10 likes. If we get uh, 100 likes here, I'll give another free uh, ticket. So there will be two free tickets at the end of the, at the, end of the video. And uh, we really appreciate if you uh, would also subscribe to the channel. Now, let me go back to questions. There was one here about um, nationality. How can non-European candidates seize maximum opportunities out of this? Do most of companies hire non-EU candidates? Prashant, this is one of the things that you have to find out in the at the event. And this is one of the benefits of the event that you can go to each booth and understand how they work and what is important for them. There are companies that, uh, for instance, Adidas in Germany doesn't have much of that problem or any if, if, if they have. And as I said, they will have people from other areas of the world as well. So. There are companies that may be looking for, for people elsewhere. Horizon is one that I think is also looking for people, for instance, in the States. Uh, there are a couple of uh, companies looking for people to do digital work, so they could be anywhere. There is, of course, a company from Brazil, so you don't have to be European to work for that company. And you will find that other companies like the IOC, for instance, they have something that they call the carte de legitimation, legitimation uh, uh, card um, in English. I don't know if I translated correctly. Maybe you can help me. That doesn't really demand a visa for you to work. However, is you're tied to your job. I think the UN here does the same thing. They can bring any, anyone from anywhere in the world, but they're actually tied, they have a specific type, type of permit for that job. As I said, each, each company is different, and I think also it varies within the company depending on the position that you're applying for. So uh, this is something that you'll have to, to find out uh, with them individually. Let me see. So Ben asks if um, one can apply for these companies even if you do not attend the job fair. I mean, if you are registered, you have a, a link for those uh, positions. And if you already applied for it, but for some reason won't be able to, to, to be there tomorrow, I think that's uh, not a problem, right? Um, in fact, I, I told some of the companies that uh, if they get too many requests and it's, it's going to be too many interviews in one day, because it's digital, they could actually invite some candidates to have an interview next week, so next Monday or, or Tuesday. Um, this is another benefit of the digital 
affair. In our event in Lausanne, each company has one interview table. We divide the day in 15 time slots so they can do, let's say, the official interview of 15 people maximum. Of course, they talk to many more throughout the day, but they have 15 interviews. Now, because it's dig digital, they can have as many recruiters as, as they want uh, interviewing simultaneously. And they could actually book interviews for even a different time. It's up to them. But I think that uh, you could. Last year, we had actually a, a case that someone applied, did the whole process, booked the interview, and the last moment couldn't come to Lausanne. They continued the conversation, and that person got uh, a job at the Juventus Football Club, actually. So, so even in the in the physical, let's say, in-person job fair, we had cases of someone that ended up getting a job without uh, being there. But so I suppose it will be possible. Um, what else? Let's see, is there some... Ah, Andre asks if um, they can contact anyone if there are technical issues. Definitely. Uh, as I said, we did one event in December and that worked super well. This was one of the sort of the best sort of reviews that we had. Is that, uh, oops, how to... Okay, so let me try to, oh, there. I'm going to show you. Uh, there is a help desk. There, there's a help desk. This is a chat from the last uh, event that we did that will be cleaned uh, for tomorrow, but that was super active. And this is one of the, the things that's we were praised for, so kudos to Ram and, and, and his team. Oh, there we go. Um, we got the more recruiters, right? So that's. Thomas says that uh, his registration is done, but he doesn't see the link. We'll sort that out right after the call. Thomas, send me uh, a message when we finish this, please. Andrea, again, Andrea, you posed so many questions. I think you might even, you know, get a free ticket to give to someone. Uh, what if you uploaded a CV that is not the most up-to-date and you want to re-upload a more recent one? Now, so I, I take it that you're talking about the, the registration that you did uh, today and the link that I sent to you. Uh, you can't edit that right now, but at the first moment that you log in tomorrow, so first thing, 9 a.m., you will be able to edit your profile, okay? So you can change your CV, you can change your picture, you can change your information. All that can be done uh, when you log in tomorrow morning. Hi, Marco, I'm ha happy to hear that uh, I answered your questions. Thank you. Manuela, can we contact a recruiter via private chat directly from our side or it has to come from them? No, Manuela, I think you can. Uh, don't know how they will respond. As I said, it will be very different. And not only from not talking about the recruiter's personality, I'm talking about also how busy they will be at that moment that you want to talk to them. Um, so they might not reply immediately, but you can you can try. Shadi, how many events do you do every year? 
so we're reassessing that, uh, Shadi. Um, we were planning, as I said, we were planning to do this virtual fair only in September. Tomorrow, actually, today, just Thursday, we were supposed to be at the Olympic Museum. We do a workshop and a VIP dinner with the academic partners and all the recruiters preparing for for the the job fair. And, and we were going to do that. And then in September, the, the virtual job fair. Now we brought this uh, a bit earlier in the in the calendar. Don't know if we're still going to do something in sept September, maybe a little later. I think, you know, we're going to see how that goes uh, tomorrow. What we we'll probably will have to improve some things, right? This is the first thing that first time that we're doing it. I'm sure that there are going to be a lot of things that are right. And we'll see uh, what the, our partners uh, wants to do, really. So perhaps we'll do another one this year, but uh, I can't tell you right now. Are there any openings in the Middle East? Well, I'm not sure, uh, to be honest. I can't remember. I don't think that there are maybe one or two, but um, sorry, I don't remember. Uh, Andre said that I didn't get uh, the link for the registration. Uh, send us an, uh, an email again to info at uh, iworkinsport.com and we'll reply to that after. Give us, you know, some time. We're doing a lot at this final hours in preparation to, to the event, but we'll get back to you, okay? Again, will there be any online events before the job fair starts tomorrow? Just this. This is the 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 online events uh, that uh, we're having. So, just an explanation about the the fair. I'm gonna go back up to see if I missed uh, anyone. Are there any jobs without requiring a master's degree? Uh, yes, uh, there are. As, as I said, there will be companies that so we'll be looking for some entry level. Uh, there are some interested in internships as well from, from a few companies. So yes, there will be. Ella asks if should we prepare a CV for every job application. Ella, um, I would say yes. I mean, take into account the, the chats and the interviews that we had in the past four weeks with professional recruiters. They all say that. And I'm not saying that um, you're supposed to upload one to your profile. That they will understand that is a more generic one and they won't hold you to any, any fault. Uh, so it's it's fine that the one that you upload is a more generic one. But if you have been applying for specific jobs in, in different companies, or even in the, in the same company, if there are clearly different types of positions, you should uh, change your CV and in, in your CV should show your qualities for that particular uh, position. But that is more for the application process, not really for what you need to upload uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's see what else. Pablo Viviani asked the IOC has closed its application period. Will it be possible to apply tomorrow? So you won't uh, actually apply tomorrow. 
Okay, so indeed they they have closed the application period a few days uh, before. That's the way that they wanted to work, and so this past few days they didn't really want to receive uh, more applications. They wanted to first collect them all, and then um, I think go through the, them all at once to be able to to compare and then decide who they're going to 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 invite. So you won't be applying for for a position, but you'll be able to go to their stands, try to engage in a conversation with them. And if they feel that your profile may be interesting for them, it is very possible that they will invite you for uh, a video conversation, either tomorrow or maybe schedule to do something with you a few a few uh, days after. Okay. Well, we, we passed uh, 200 people uh, here watching. Thank you so much. This uh, I can see people are interested in, in the event. Um, if you want to share another ticket, would be super cool if you, if you hit the like button there. And uh, if a half of you do that, I'll give another free ticket at the end of the, at the, end of, of the session which will be closing in about 10 minutes. Hello from Dubai, do you think? Diego from Dubai, do you think a lot of companies will start recruiting process now for future jobs? Diego, I think this is, I mean, anything I say wouldn't be, <laughs> I wouldn't be sure of, right? What, what I know of is that will vary a lot. As I said, there are companies that are there tomorrow and maybe not the ones that you know of that are looking for people now. So um, as I mentioned, Forcom uh, before from, from Brazil, you, you never heard of it. Um, Horizon that is from uh, the base in Spain, but have operations all over the world, they're launching they're super cool startup. Uh, they recently, you know, raised some investments and are hiring now. So they are hiring. I suggest you check them out. Uh, Sportunity is a startup here from Lausanne that is also looking for for people uh, to start soon. So you know, these are three companies that may be not uh, the first ones that come to to your your mind. So I suggest that you visit each one of them and you may find uh, interesting opportunities there. I, uh, Carlos asks um, as well about the, the technical issues. We will have a team to, to give you any support that, uh, that you need uh, tomorrow. But um, that platform, I mean, works with other events um, daily and it works uh, super well. Danielle Sandoval, already like and subscribe. Thank you, Danielle. So just going to back to this uh, private chat. So Joe P, uh, the option to chat privately is only available for from recruiter part. No, uh, it should it should work just as as you are in a conference. So you can approach someone, ask you know to start a conversation, and they can uh, do the same with you. And it's not only the conversation about you and recruiters you'll be able to chat with other people uh, during the, the conference as well. We try to, to replicate that, that interaction. As I said, apart from, apart from the booths, there will be super interesting content in the auditorium as well. Hi, Christy, I think I'm happy that I answered your question. Jaimon seems happy too. So 
So Valentina asks uh, how many people will be attending tomorrow. I think in terms of delegates uh, that we have confirmed, it's just over 400, maybe 450. So overall, there will be in total around 500 people at, um, at the environment. So it, it turned out to be a little larger in, in, in terms of number of people attending than the one here in Lausanne. But last year we had uh, nearly 400 people. So it's, um, the experience will be, be similar. Hello from Greece. Let me see what they say. Uh, do you know by... If I can't add the future. I didn't really understand. Mr. Komni, if you can maybe rephrase your question. I will try to answer later. Now, Kunal asks if it would be beneficial for people from outside Europe. Um, we had a few cases, if not many, of people that are not Europeans that uh, got jobs, again, not thanks to, but uh, helped by the, the job fair. So we had... Um, from the top of my mind, I remember in the first edition, a Chinese girl from ASTS who got a job uh, at the Federation here. We had someone from Venezuela that got another job in Switzerland, um, was a sports raider, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. Um, and then there's several other cases of people or companies that may be recruiting elsewhere as well. As I mentioned, added this in this case. Um, uh, IMG is, is another company that have uh, offices all over uh, the world. You might be interesting for you to talk to them. We had cases of an Egyptian girl that met a French company and that French company hired her to work in China. Another Japanese girl that ended up uh, working first in Singapore and then transferred to, to Amsterdam. So you don't really have to be European to, to benefit from it. But, I mean, if you're looking for work in Europe, the reality is easier if you're uh, European. It's harder if you're, if you're not. Not impossible, but definitely harder for sure. Let's see. Maybe I'll go to, to the, the beginning. I might have missed a few. Alice, if I register pay today, will companies see my profile? Meaning, is there a disadvantage? Sorry, Ali, uh, registration is closed. So we're not taking uh, more registrations uh, today. But I mean, register to, to our website, following our, uh, us in our social media, because I mean, we will organize other events and we're growing as well. We started as an event company in back in 17, was the job fair in Lausanne. Uh, in December, we created, we launched the education virtual fair. So in a very similar environment, but the, instead of the recruiters, we had the, our academic partners promoting themselves to, to people that might be interested in the sports masters. And, uh, and now the, the virtual job fair. So now we have three events and we launched a new site. There's an interesting job board there that we're cooperating, cooperating with several other job boards. So the idea is that um, it's an aggregator of, of jobs. So if you go to our website, you can start to look there and that will take it to, to the source, to, to the origin. So um, it's not like we're just taking their, the, their positions and, and keeping to ourselves. We're in a way promoting other recruitment companies as well, trying to, to collaborate and bring benefits to everyone involved. And we will soon start in a couple of months 
uh, a career development section in the website. Okay, try to, to help you not only during all our events. Go back a bit there. Message from Michele Giotto, big supporter of the event. Thank you, Michele. Um, this is Michele. As I said, 9 a.m. when uh, the event will be open tomorrow, you'll be able to check your profile, do all the updates that you want, change your CV or your picture and all that. Um, Uh, I think we already got that reply. General question, what is the average salary in Switzerland for someone who works in the sports industry? I don't know. I don't think there is a average salary. There varies a lot uh, from I mean, the position that you're doing, what you're doing, where, there isn't really a, an average salary. The, the average salary in Switzerland as a whole tends to be uh, considerably higher than the rest of Europe. But, and so, so it is in, in, in sports. Although in, in sports would probably pay less than many other areas uh, that you want to work for. Okay, well, we just passed a uh, one hour mark. So there's Eduardo Tavares doing the, the FIFA Master at the moment. I don't know where you are because I know that uh, you're all now kind of connecting from home. And um, Thank you, Ali. Serge, another big supporter here. Thank you. Well, our friends uh, from the FIFA Master, and I see a few from ASTS, from Cruyff. Someone is from Tbilisi. Well, I think I got to, to where people are just uh, saying hi and telling them where they're from. Let's see if there's a few more questions. Otherwise, we'll finish this. Thank you, Clifford. Don't know what you mean by members in Africa. Don't have members, I think, anywhere. Uh, perhaps we should create a membership, but uh, maybe you can share some ideas with us. We, we certainly have followers and, and people that uh, connect uh, from Africa with us. Last year, we had CAF, the African Football Confederation, flying all the way to, to Lausanne, and it was great to, to have him with us. So we do you know, pay attention and we would love to have uh, more people from Africa involved. Yeah, Diogo, thank you for the support. Let me see. Okay. Uh, I think what I will do now, let me see if there's any other recent question. Thank you, Eliana. But uh, here I see like, uh, what is that, 15 likes. So I think I'm going to give one ticket, uh, thanks to the 500 subscriptions that uh, we got here. Let, um, Manuela asks, asks something else, let me just see. Hi, Manuela. As I said, I mean, I think in terms of advice, take it as if you're attending a, a professional event, as I said, you probably wouldn't wear suit and tie anyway, but I think uh, try to have a, a professional uh, behavior. You see what the companies are, you know who they are. So it would be nice if you prepared yourself. 
because you know what I find in in job fairs is that many people just go and approach a company and want to ask about them. You know, can you tell me more about you and 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 probably should be kind of the opposite, right? You should get to the company, show them that you already know something about them, and they should want to know about you, right? So I think if you have time to do some previous research, uh, I would definitely recommend that. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to to do the uh, the draw let's see if, if if this works well actually i'm actually going to answer a couple more questions because i just saw that there's 87 likes here so let's do it like this i will do i will draw this first one and then we see if this way it works and then if by the end we have uh, 100 likes i'll do a, a second one all right so, uh, okay, how do I? So basically, the way I'm doing this is there's, I'm scrolling through the comments here, and I will do that in front of you. I won't be looking, and I'll press my name on top of one, and We'll give a, a, a free ticket to that person, all right? So, you're looking at it. Uh, Andri Purishev. Is that Purishev? I, I, I hit your thank you at uh, 1649. So, Andrew, uh, you have. A uh, free ticket if you're ready, um, registered for tomorrow. Send me a, an email at info at uh, iworkinsport.com and give us the, the name of the person that you want to give the ticket to. All right. And let me just uh, refresh the page, see if we got those likes. 99. Another one? Oh, a hundred. So I'm going to trust uh, Eliana who said that there's a hundred there. And I'm going to do a second draw just like that. So uh, more or less same thing all the way. Uh, Ali C, when he asked, uh, what is the difference between the education fair and this one? Okay, so Ali, uh, you got a ticket as well, and I'm going to reply to that one. What is the difference between the education and this one? So the education fair, what uh, the way we do, it's, it's a very sort of different concept. Um, the, well, it's similar but different. The, on the stands, we have the schools, the the programs, the partners. So in December, we had 100. Oh, sorry, <laughs> 100 likes. We had the 10 uh, of them, and the idea is that they promote the the program to to the audience. So that is free to attend, um, and. And, and, and that's it. So in the same way, people go to, to the booths and ask questions, learn about the programs. One super cool thing that uh, all of them, I think, did is it wasn't only their team participating, but they had um, they invited their alumni as well. So imagine that you go to that, that booth and you can ask about the program, you know, the curriculum, the time, the price, some details about that. But if you want to see if people really enjoy it or if they got a job afterwards or something during the masters, you can talk to their alumni. So that works super well. And we plan to do that again uh, at the, towards the end of this year, perhaps a little earlier before December. Now it's really hard to know with um, everything that's happening in the world. 
but uh, we should do that as well. Whereas the, the job fair is completely different, right? It's mostly for people that already did it, the, those masters and are now trying to uh, start their career in sport. Although it's not only for people starting, just, there are some people that uh, will have senior manager positions and we had people with near 10 years of experience being hired there as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the main difference. So guys, that was amazing. Thank you, <laughs> as my friend Marcelo would say. Uh, it was super nice to hit, uh, hit those 100 likes. Um, yeah, Eliana, you, you're right. Congrats, guys, everyone that uh, gave the mark. So you give you gave someone else um, a chance to participate tomorrow. Alice is seems to be very happy. He says, "Oh my, OMG!" So, um, Ali, you should uh, maybe thank as well Arjun Sik. Although, I mean, the first one is as important as the 100th. Uh, I can't really just thank you so much. Uh, I hope we answered uh, your questions, if not all of them, most of them. I will certainly be connected pretty much the whole day tomorrow. So if you have other particular questions and you would like some advice, you can find me there. I will have the I work in sport logo. Uh, my friend uh, Alexandre, who is working with us, will be there as well. If it's a technical issue, just go to the help desk and, and they'll help you. And yeah, I hope that you stay safe, that you are, you know, very good luck uh, for all of you tomorrow. And yes, we'll maybe do a video like that after the event and see how, how that went. Maybe get uh, people opinions. I don't know, I hadn't really planned for anything like that. Thank you so much. And if I missed some comments, I will try to, to reply later on. I don't probably won't be able to reply to those before the event because we're still doing some work and that's going to be late, uh, but yeah. Thank you so much again, all right? Stay well, stay safe.